Hi and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben and this is my review for the final season of Jack Ryan with uh, John Krasinski still playing Jack Ryan. This is the fourth and final helping from this particular story of the Tom Clancy adapted novel stories from Prime Video. So let me know in the comments below so far what has been your favorite season? Are you excited for this? I know it's had mixed responses. I for one have enjoyed all the seasons, but I definitely have a different ranking to most. I will talk about my ranking of all four seasons at the end. The fourth and final season of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan finds our character on his most dangerous mission yet, facing an enemy both foreign and domestic. As the new CIA acting deputy director, Jack Ryan is tasked with unearthing internal corruption and in doing so uncovers a series of suspicious black ops that could expose the vulnerability of the country. So obviously we have John Krasinski but you'll see a few familiar faces of the team return which I appreciated because we've been building on those for a while. There are direct consequences from what happened in the previous story arc that Jack has to face in this season. And because of his responsibility now, the kind of the buck stops a lot with him. So he's facing a judicial hearing and he's sitting there trying to explain what the CIA is doing while also uncovering deeper conspiracies as is with the spy game. And I think the story starts off slow and it starts off a little boring. And I did say to myself, well, I hope they finish this strong because they are only doing six episodes this season. But by the end of episode one, there was a, a reveal of where the story is possibly going and an introduction of another character and actor that I was really happy to see. Michael Penner plays Dominga Chavez and I think he's an excellent addition. Very different to how I've seen him normally play characters, you know, the kind of the quirky comedy relief and he is often the heart of a movie. But I really liked him in this. I bought him in this role, which was surprising to me. I shouldn't be because often actors don't get the time of day to actually play different because they get typecast in a certain key roles and then studios only want them to be playing that character. But when you see them outside of the zones that you've normally seen them and you go, oh wait, that's actually pretty damn good. I really liked him in this role and the connections that he has with Jack or at least the, the moments he has with Jack, I think were excellent. The actions sequences are good. A lot of it take places at night. I would have liked to see more <laughs> during the day. There are a few, obviously, but I just thought there was a lot of dark action scenes that they can get away with not showing certain scenes or make you think, oh, this is more uh, integral and bigger than you think it is. That's not to say that is always happening, but there were just a few moments. I was like, oh, but for me, the story really kicked in when it starts to become personal to Jack, when the consequences are very real rather than big will, big country, conspiracy and CIA and all of that. That doesn't mean much to me. But when you make the story personal, that's when it becomes really interesting and more tense. So although the intensity is there with the way of the conspiracies and the talking, what's going on with the government and big world results and the story of the Tom Clancy story kind of kicking in when it's personal and it does get very personal with his friends, and his loved ones. That's when I'm invested. And I think th all in all, they've done a really good job at building the suspense continuously until we get to that final helping. We've come a long way from where we saw the analyst of Jack Ryan to now the field operative, even though he's meant to be the you know CIA deputy. He is now still an operative. He gets himself into situations. And if you've seen the beginning, of episode one you'll see kind of how we start and let me just say it gets pretty dark and intense in ways that you're probably not expecting but aren't very familiar to what we've had in the past of the situations he finds himself in because it is he's the sort of character that puts himself in danger ahead of others he puts his own body and mind in places that most other operatives wouldn't do. He does things outside of the box, outside of the law. And I think that's why it makes it so intriguing because he doesn't play politics the way politicians want him to play or, or he doesn't obey the rules like he should be doing it. And because of that, he kind of gets shit done, which is again, another character of why I think everybody likes the Jack Ryan character. Now for me, I would say this is the second best season. I really liked the previous one because it was the rogue agent. So going in order, I would go from season one, three, four, and two. That is my ranking. Let me know in the comments below how you would rank them. I do think two was the weakest, but I still enjoyed it. There's none for me that I've hated. I just have different preferences. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you would rank them. 
I would give this season three and a half Nicolas Cages out of five. <laughs> and you got one. Congratulations. It was a solid helping into finishing it. I enjoyed the story, but I do miss when it was kind of fresh. There really were some great action moments and tense moments backed behind the story of personal storytelling, which I think was the way to go. As always, the storytelling with the filmmaking was well done with that theme that we've come to know now. It was an exciting finish for the story, and I hope we will get more from the Jack Ryan, Tom Clancy world, maybe in a film or a, a new side character. Anything in this Tom Clancy world is always fun to kind of delve into as long as it's written well. Don't forget we have so much new content in the way of The Witcher Season 3, Henry Cavell's final helping in the Geralt of Rivia character. We also have Nimona, a new Netflix animated film that I think you should definitely check out. You can check out our review. And Idris Elba in the Apple new TV series, Hijack. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.